today in this session uh, we go through a new stage again a data set stage and it is a file stage so in these stages mostly we are discussing with the uh, sequential file and data set only the rest will come again uh, rest in the sense we don't uh, discuss all of them file set and sequential file both are same uh, we'll uh, just have and complex flat file stage is a stage which will be used to read the data from your main frames an unstructured data stage which is from 9.1 which is easy to read the data directly from an excel sheet if time permits i'll show you about unstructured and lookup file set while discussing with lookup stage we will uh, come back okay today we'll uh, see with uh, data set and the sequential file stage and comparing each other and uh, rest, next we will go to uh, the other uh, components again, other stages, okay? So coming to the data set, it is in a file stage. And sequential file stage is also in a file stage. Majorly in interviews, people will ask you what is different between the sequential file stage and the data set. So in, this way, in that way, if you are, uh, uh, willing to give a good reply with uh, some accuracy points that makes you unique from uh, the different people okay so that is the reason i want to cover uh, very uh, important things between difference between a sequential file and a data set so for that now i'll discuss data set for some time and later we'll go back again to uh, difference between a sequential file and a data set to start with data set is a data set is in a binary stage means it's it format it reads in binary format how can we say means by the stage itself see there is a symbol there are some uh, binary symbols okay and the data stage also reads in a binary format that is the reason data set is a, a native stage of a data stage sequential file stage is not a, not a native stage it's a different stage a different means like format wise it reads in text file text format whereas data set reads in binary format which is data stage native format in that case we don't require sequential file stage as a intermediate stage what is a uh, data set means it is a intermediate stage you cannot read data set directly as a sequential file stage i mean to say you cannot use data set as a source until unless you load the data of the source of a database or a file or anything once you dump into data set then only you can use this data set as a source that is the reason we can say data set is a binary uh, intermediate stage and its execution mode is parallel and in which format it read means it reads in binary format what i am talking now is very important okay because uh, data set is apart from a file stages we use for performance issues also please uh, be more concentrated here okay so now I told you like, okay, first I'll show you data set, how to execute and what all things that we have. Later on, we'll go for uh, difference between a sequential file and a data set. First to talk about data set. I'll just take one more copy of the job or else I'll create a new job. I'm taking a new job. And in this uh, session only, I'm going to talk about the save button in columns tab. I'll use data set, data, database as a source for the, this process. Now I'm going to drag a link to output for a data set. I'm going to provide some details. 
राइट स्कॉट टाइगर डेपलेन table definition that we have seen in the previous sessions uh, for now i am just unchecking this enable runtime problem propagation it doesn't require okay i am going to load this data the file that we have uh, into the path that we have created in the d folder batch 101 target data set target uh, reset and all i don't want and this is the live class data set class so i'll use emp data set file as .ds .ds extension is data set columns everything will be mapped okay now i'm trying to run this before running we need to compile and if we want to compile we need to save the job i'm going to say this as data set and data set and sequence refer difference job 7 i hope it is 7 only so it is compiling now compilation successful and run so now photon records will be loaded into data set you can view the data when data set creates in the target it creates three files control file descriptor file okay control file descriptor file descriptor file what the file we specify here is a descriptor file emp data set dot ds go to the path data set you try to just read the file i'm just taking note that for now see descriptor file so this is your descriptor you cannot read binary format it's not a human readable language it's a binary format you cannot read it so it is a descriptor file okay this is one file and next we have a control file that control file will be in your configurations and in the default in this path c folder server data sets c folder server data sets so what the data i have created today unique reports so this is your uh, data set files that we have given see emp data set dot ds in this path it is going to save the path which i given here is a different one and the path which is this is control file you can control your data sets from here okay and here you cannot control the descriptor file is just to view the data in the source from here even you can tool wise if you want to view the file in the view data we can view else tools tab data set management we have see when you open it will ask the descriptor file path it will try to open the descriptor file and this is another kind of file three files we have descriptor file control file 
And the third one is like watch file. Watch file in the sense, see here we are able to see the data. I'm sorry, data set management. Tool wise, how can you view the data set means data set management. If someone in anyone interview, if someone asks you, if anyone asks you in interview, how okay, how to read uh, a data set file means in the tool wise, say that data set management. This is schema. This is data data. This is data what I'm going to view now. In the OS level, if you want to read the data set, see binary format, right? You cannot read, it's not a moment readable, so you cannot read the binary format, binary format from here. So from OS level, if you want, we have rketmin commands. rketmin means like we have to add it in profile, profile, user profile command, then only we can get it as of now we don't have those profiles so we cannot show the arc admin but once you google it like arc admin commands in data stage you get arc admin dumper you get arc admin uh, cutter you can arc admin paste you can get arc admin remove like that we have unix commands in arc, arc admin using arc admin now data set we have loaded these three files types of files will be created automatically now, if I want to use the source, now if I want to use as a source, now I can use them. One second, give me one minute. Take this path, target path, and go to data set and new stage. And double click. I'm sorry, I haven't uh, given a link. Now give the path. Columns. Now, see, to import the data set columns, go to here and then save this columns tab save. So, this is the usage of save. From, apart from here, you don't use it anywhere. Apart from here, you don't use it from anywhere. data set table definitions Same. okay so in the repository you have that folder See, data set table definition from the batch, select that, and now it will be viewed. Your data will be viewed. Okay. See, now I'm going to this path and I'm going to remove this file. Now you try to view the data. No, you cannot. Because that file does not exist. Because this path only, right? Okay, now I will take this into another job. And I will put again a data set. And here I, I'm not giving any path. I'll just create. So I want to save this job. Actually, we need to save this job. And this is also job seven only. Let us say job seven. Close. See now, I'm not able to view the data because I don't have the file. The file is not created. Means what I'm 
try to tell you is this data set job is dependent on this job because you file you don't have the file created because i deleted it so if you want to create it again you need to run so this job i'm running which is data set sequential file different job now 14 records will be loaded as it has done in pre preview now the data will be viewed now the data will be viewed so there is a dependency the dependency jobs are controlled by using sequence jobs those we will discuss in the at the end of the sessions i can see now the data is but i haven't run this job still now i'm going to run now the data will be loaded so in such cases only the data data set can be used as source okay directly you cannot read the source data from data using data set this is very important so if someone asks you can you read the data from uh, data set using data set from the source no it is not possible did i run this job i'll just give a look what is happening because something data set job is finished but still why i am not getting status on the link we'll see whether the data is present here or not yeah it is able to view okay job ran but due to some reason it is not showing the status it should be on uh, link wise even it should be the status but okay nothing no issues if something happened in the back okay so this is what about the data set data set is the stage which is a intermediate stage and uh, it improves performance as well how it improves for example see here i'm going to show two point two points again here in this job i'm going to use one sequential file stage and uh, i'll remove this no i cannot remove that okay i'll take this as copy and i'll put it into sequential file okay now here i'll tell you how to handle nulls because i previously and also there may some issues we got uh, uh, when we are discussing with uh, null values in sequential file stage okay so now see just go to this uh, table this script emp you get null so these are not null remaining all are nullables so these are the actual nulls okay see how many records are going to load it into sequential file stage i'll show you i'll put sequence file as target and i'll make it as emp file dot d dot txt sorry if i info dot txt so first line is column name true and formats okay i'm not i'm removing this double quotes columns are there now i'm going to run this is not a good practice actually because for one table i'm taking two or i do characters two times i'm hitting the database okay but uh, still only for the practice purpose i'm showing you now go to the target which i created So you have been for see how many records got loaded? Totally fourteen records are there, but how many records got loaded? Only four because this four only doesn't have any null values. Now I want to perform null handling. See before in data set you have fourteen records, so nulls are not rejected here. In data set nulls are not rejected. Okay, in sequential file nulls are rejected. so data set 14 record but here you have only four records so this is one difference from a data set and a sequential file stage data set will not support null values sequential file supports null values 
so now how to handle this is by default by default how to handle null values means go to format tab field defaults null field value just make it as space enter click ok now compile and run then so now if i run now before i have only four records loaded but now see now open total 14 records loaded so this is null handling in sequential file stage and this file only actually for the source even it will work okay and one more thing i want to show in job properties i have generated os script okay this is a script which will generate at compile time error compile time means after click then i click on compile the script will generate that script is going to execute actually this gui is going to generate as a code into java okay so that script i will show you generate os h see in the previous jobs in the previous jobs like sequential file stage in this job the sequential file is source go to generate os h see the schema record this is operator sequential file is an operator it is using importer import operator this is using import operator and by default these stages are every stage is an operator every stage is an operator so if you see here the same job data set as data set copy operator data set is a source target and sequential file is a source in the next job i have created one more job data set sequential file references data set is in target okay i'll show you the sequential file before import operator is there when it is in source see here or i'll click connector i'll well use sequential file stage yeah the sequential file stage see export operator file 6 means while source it is reading it is using import operator while target it is using as export operator mean two operators it is taking but you, you see the copy data set operator data set operator either you put as a source either you place it as a target it uses only one operator copy operator so that is the reason the performance wise data set is best means if you put as data set how data set you are using intermediate level if you use sequential file stage you may get performance issues data set will increase will improve your performance because your operators are not required here import operator export operator okay so that is the major difference so we'll point out some differences here in the note in the paint i'll just make some differences So data set I mentioned here. Uh, first, we have discussed about sequential file. I'll make it about sequential. Don't have to bother of spelling. Sequential file stage. So sequential file stage one. Sequential file stage uses as operator, uh, import operator. Conversions are required. First of all, conversions are required. but that as it doesn't require <coughs> cannot handle nulls by default cannot handle nulls by default and reject link will be supported reject supports and data set doesn't support any reject link and conversions required because of import operator and export operator okay and uh, it can read only up to 2 gb 
data bits. But data set can read more than 2 GB. Data set. Data set stage. Conversions are required. Here, doesn't record. Conversions not required. No need of conversions. Second one, cannot handle null values by default. Can handle null values by default. Can handle null values null values by default and reject supports data set doesn't support reject right reject <coughs> and import operator export operator by default it is copy over only copy of it either import or export copy of it. it can read more than 2 gb it can read more than 2 gb data and the next it reads in text format and uh, in uh, data set binary format binary format okay so these are the major difference between a sequential binary data set okay so very important interview one of the major interview parts more, most of the interviews people will ask you most of the interviews people will ask you <clears throat> okay so this is a uh, very theoretical interview question uh, difference between a sequential file and data set and sometimes people may ask you about the file set even. File set you can see, just simple. I'll just uh, demonstrate. See, file set and they'll ask you about the sequential file. In sequential file, read method is file pattern and specific file, but you don't have here. And the sequential file, it is by default sequential mode, but here it is parallel mode. And uh, options, almost all, whatever you can do it in sequential file, we can do it here. But it's not more than that we have, and it's less than that we have, okay? Use schema depend if it is file. If there is schema file option here. It is asking true or false. Reject mode. Continue. We have fail output. Means here also the reset link will support. And here we'll uh, see reset reason column. Here also it supports. And here what is major difference between a sequential file and a file set means sequential file reads up to 2 GB. See file set can read more than 2 GB also. Okay. Here also we can have more than that. But only one uh, file can read at a time. Okay, when format tab and columns, whatever we discussed uh, with the sequential file, all the things are same. Okay, expect this schema. The schema option is mentioned here in different way, but if you, the purpose is same. Okay, it's parallel stage. Okay, operators, import operator, export operator, no. Here also same, uh, the sequential file stage uses import and export, but here also it is not uh, same. It is like copy operator only. Okay. So this is what about a, a file set. I'm sorry. Uh, I just given the wrong information. I'm really sorry of it. The C file set is also like a sequential file. Import and export operator. It's not like copy operator. I'm sorry. Data set. It's like uh, export and import only. Okay. I'm sorry. We'll remove it. So this is the major difference from sequential file and data set so we have seen data set uh, 
uh, intermediate as intermediate stage okay so we'll stop here and we'll see further in the next classes okay the heavy topics and technical topics will be discussed in the further, further sessions thanks a lot thanks for your time for watching this video Have